Welcome to TE Destinations. I'm your host, Rob, and in today's episode, we will be covering Castel Gandolfo, which happens to be the summer residence of the Pope, has one of the most beautiful lakes that Italy has to offer. Then we will be going to Ariccia and having some of the world famous Porchetta and find out what that is all about. To get to the enchanting area known as the Castelli Romani, we leave from the Termini train station and take a quick 40 minute train ride or car ride to get there. First stop, Castel Gandolfo. Imagine a place nestled atop a crater of an ancient volcano that is so lush and beautiful that ancient Roman emperors and even the popes decided that it was the perfect place to stay to get away from the hustle and bustle of Rome. All these buildings are resting atop the crater and they all have spectacular views. Of course, the Pope has the best view of all, but his summer villa was actually much more than we see here. Seeing such glorious sights would be a sin to go it alone and not share the journey with a friend. Dearest Grayson has come to join us. She is a wonderful TE guide and we studied to be guides together. We traveled all over Lazio learning by seeing all the important sights we had to explain. Like this Baroque gem of a church by Bernini. There is a wonderful sense of informal joy to be had in the Castelli Romani. This place lightens the heart. Behind the closed gates and walls of the Papal Villa, there is one of the most outstandingly beautiful gardens in Italy. Now open to the public for the first time thanks to Pope Francis, we can take a peek at one of the favorite places of John Paul II. The gardens are actually built over the ruins of the Imperial Villa built for the Emperor Domitian. The site is amazing and the position gives us views of the Mediterranean on one side and the lake on the other. Behind us is beautiful Lago Albano, considered by many to be the most beautiful lake in all of Italy. And uh, guys, for Lazio, this is the deepest of our lakes. It's also a crater lake. All of the lakes in this region, there is Lago Albano, Lago di Nemi, tiny, beautiful little jewel, but these are crater lakes. So this was formed by the same volcano, Volcano Laziale, that actually formed what is the city of Rome. Now, people come up here on the weekends, they use this, whether it's for beach clubs, swimming, kayaking, canoeing, paddle boats. So really a variety of different things. Even 1960s Olympics, they used this lake for uh, the competitions, you know? But around the lake are some of the most fantastic little restaurants and talk about a great view. You can rent out a paddle boat and truly enjoy the water by going for a swim. Flying above the lake, we can see that it has some of the cleanest water in Italy. Pedaling across the lake on such a perfect day. One could say that a gay old time was had by all. The water is so pristine, it looks almost like the blue sky. No, I did not crash the flamingo. No Gracelands were harmed during the making of this video. And now something of the sacred and profound. The Lago di Nemi, famous in ancient times for its Temple of Diana and its sacred woods that surround the lake. Two colossal ancient ships were built by the infamous Emperor Caligula. The lake was actually drained out to find these ships and they were housed in this museum. Unfortunately, the ships were burned by German soldiers, but the building that housed them remained. The museum also brought to light the ancient road that led to the Sanctuary of Diana a temple and cult that dates back to over 2,300 years ago. And now, up to another hill town in the Castelli Romani, the village of Ariccia, made beautiful thanks to the noble Kiji family, famous for being bankers and having a Pope among them. The beautiful town is connected by amazingly high bridges covering valleys. There was also a garden forest made for hunting boar. That's the famous roast pigs that started here. Since the boar meat was too tough, they switched to the more tender pork meat filled with rosemary and garlic, which is cooked for hours and is so tender one can easily slice through it. Let's go and try some! We end our day with a late casareccia lunch, starting with a marvelous sparkling house white wine, some baked beans, bruschetta, and porchetta, and other cured meats and cheeses. Yummy! 
What could make a meal like this any better? Oh yeah, pasta. Some classic pastas of the Lazio region like cacio e pepe, carbonara, and amatriciana. As Grayson and I go over the food and adventures of the day, we want to thank you for joining us and a special thanks to Through Eternity Tours. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Click on the bell symbol to make sure that you'll be notified whenever we have new content uploaded. Ciao a tutti! Welcome to Through Eternity... No. Destinations. And in today's... Oh, f***ing... Sorry. And in today's episode, we will...